Okay, I want to demonstrate a Windows 10 IoT device that I created. This device is going to be used for opening my garage as well as detecting the temperature uh, that's in my garage. Uh, it's some one of, one of the other things that it'll do is it'll also keep track of how long in, in uh, milliseconds it'll take to open uh, or close the door fully. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do that is so that I can track how long it's taking over time to fully open the door or fully close the door and try to predict if my garage door is in need of some maintenance. Uh, right here, you're looking at um, a Raspberry Pi that, uh, Raspberry Pi 2 that is running Windows 10 IoT Core. Um, it is wired up to two sensors. Uh, this is so that I can detect that the garage door is fully open with a open sensor. Right now it's just a push button switch, but that would be a magnetic switch on my garage door. And here is the one of the magnetic switches for detecting that the door is closed. And then over here I have a, a relay module. This actually has two relays on it, but I'm only using one. Uh, that basically plugs into my existing garage door uh, motor to trigger closing the door or, or opening the door. Um, right here I have a 8 channel A to D converter that runs over SPI and it is connected channel 0 to uh, a temperature sensor, a TMP36 that is for measuring the temperature in the garage. And this, I basically have two applications running, one running on the Raspberry Pi uh, and the other one running on my Windows laptop right now. Both of these uh, applications are connected by the all join framework. So the communications between the two devices is um, completely orchestrated and, and uh, handled by the all join uh, IoT framework. So right now you can see on the screen that uh, um, basically the garage door is closed. You can see here the last time that it closed it took 2.7 seconds. Last time it opened it took 3 seconds. Uh, that is not a real opening of the door of course but it's just simulating um, when I'm testing it out. Down here you can also see that it's currently 72 or 71 degrees Fahrenheit in the room. So I can also on the UI I can go ahead and command the garage door to open. Uh, you'll you'll hear a click in the background that'll be the relay closing uh, to to operate the garage door. And now the garage door is opening. And then in a few seconds, I'll simulate that the garage door has fully opened there. And it took 9.6 seconds to uh, complete the transition from fully closed to fully open. Now I'm going to go ahead and reverse that back and close the door. And now the garage door is fully closed. Now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, the temperature sensor is working. I'm going to go ahead and grab the temperature sensor with my fingers to heat it up. And you'll see the sensor reading to start to go up on the UI. It does. I'll release it. And it'll start to go down. A couple other things. Uh, that I put in this um, application is that you can see right now that the garage door is fully closed. If I try to close it again, you won't hear the relay click in because it, the garage door already knows that it is closed. So it's not going to attempt to close it again. However, if I click the open, you can hear in the background the 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 relay kick in and the garage door would be opening right now and then once it's fully open 
the open sensor would be uh, detected. All right, that's about it. I hope you read my article and uh, maybe give uh, some look at some of the code and see how this project works. Thanks.